Well, the forecast was right. It's been raining this morning. Right now, it's a little break. Looks pretty dark. And uh, expecting more rain. Right now it's just a little drizzle. I think I'm gonna stay put for a while and see what happens. It's supposed to rain much more later. Morning coffee at 11.30. It's been raining the whole morning. Right now there is a little break. And it's a perfect time to have a coffee. Got some blueberries left from yesterday, or from the day before, actually, for my oatmeal. So I guess the storm is upon me and uh, it took a long while but wind has picked up and uh, I'm kind of covered in clouds and it started raining much more. It's uh, around 6 p.m. now and I guess that was on the forecast so uh, let's see how tomorrow is going to be. It feels pretty heavy. I feel good about my tent though. I I put it up really with the thought of a storm in mind. This is also some of the fun and some of the adventure of being out here. Weather like this. I knew the I knew there would be rain and uh, but it's a lot more heavy than it said on the forecast. It is the Norwegian mountains and there's a lot of dangerous weather up here. 
I'm just hoping it'll cool down by tomorrow so that I can start walking again. Although the forecast says it's gonna continue through tomorrow. So we'll have to see. It's gonna be an exciting couple of days. So got another day of this weather here. I had to go out and reinforce the anchors in the middle of the night. It seems to have been holding up pretty well. So I have decided I need to start hiking out of here. It's only raining sporadically and the wind is just way too strong up here to stay here. I need to see if I can pack down the tent and get lower down in elevation and find a different camp that's less windy. Feels a bit dangerous up here now so I'm just gonna pack up and and start at it. If I get lower down, it might be better. Well, I'm glad I got away from that place. It was basically, did not feel safe at all. The wind turned during the day and it hit me. It came through and hit the tent. Not at a bad angle, but the tent was placed in a wind tunnel, it felt like. So just getting, over here on trail feels much better. You can actually talk and you can hear what I'm saying, I guess, without the sound being muffled by the wind. So I'm gonna walk for a bit, it's 2 p.m. The weather's pretty shitty, but you know, there's some light ahead. So I'm gonna try to get down into the next valley and look for something less windy. I met a couple of girls that came in the opposite direction and they said they hadn't had any rain and they had had sunshine and pretty good weather today. So I'm glad I made a decision to leave that camp up there. I was probably camped in the worst place possible weather-wise. I think it's the highest point on the route actually. So I think this was a smart move and I um, should be getting down to some vegetation later on. So this is good. Day four today. I was actually planning on this being a bad weather day to just stay in camp. But now I get to move a little bit. It would be kind of a bad move to stay in camp all day when the terrible weather is so local.
It's another glacier up here. So the reason why I held on to that camp spot so stubborn was of course because there's nowhere to camp. It's just rocks, 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 rocks. So whenever you find a camp spot you need to lock on to it. Water everywhere. Look at those dark clouds coming in this direction. Hoping it hits that mountain and evaporates. Awesome. Wow. Well, I'm blown away again. Uh, in front of me, I have uh, Store Skagadurs Tinden in Hurungane. Uh, it's a mountain that I saw from uh, Jotunheimen, from the other side when I was there. And out here in that direction, uh, there's some huge glaciers more green lakes that's gonna be the trademark of this national park apart from the glaciers of course all the blue tarns Lakes.
So I'm planning to find a camp down in the valley here if I can find shelter from the wind anywhere. The river needs to be forded here. Got a couple of new glaciers inside here. One up there to the left and one up there to the right. Now we got some cool views looking out towards Hurungane. Right, I'm gonna see if I can make this area work for a camp. I've been searching for two hours now. This wind is just, there's absolutely no way of getting out of this wind and find a place to set up a tent. This is pretty awesome. Okay, so here's my camp, close to Antsebu, which is the next uh, DMT cabin on this route. I couldn't find a way out of the wind, so this spot has wind too. I've been searching for two hours. It's been really difficult to find something facing away from or being sheltered from the wind. It's like the wind just curls around everything today and won't leave me alone. It's a pretty nice place though. Heading out in that direction tomorrow. Now I need some food. I'm pretty low on energy. So it looks like we have some sun this morning. I said just as it popped behind a cloud. Clear skies in this direction. And uh, cloudy behind me, but this is a good starting point. This is the direction I'm heading.
Still early though, so. Absolutely stunning morning. I have to say that uh, yesterday was a day with where I got very low on morale when I got into camp. Uh, felt everything was shitty and that wind was just relentless and I couldn't get out of it. Uh, when I wake up to see this though, just pops all back up again. My morale is top notch and I can't wait to continue this trip and see more of this amazing place. I have to say Breheimen. Glacier Home National Park is really one of the highlights of the Norwegian mountains and uh, very few people. I met one German couple on the second day and I met two Norwegian girls yesterday and that's all. And they both uh, said that they hadn't seen much people either. So. You know, we're late in the season now for Norwegian people, but we're pretty much right in the middle of the season for Germans and, and Northern Europeans. So, still, not a lot of people out here compared to Jotunheimen or uh, other places. This is just totally a place you can be by yourself if you go in a tent. There's nobody here and it's got so much beauty. All the glaciers and all the green lakes and tarns, the green rivers, uh, just amazing. This is somewhere I have to come back and explore more. Found some more blueberries for my oatmeal. It's day five. I've started walking again in beautiful weather. First stop will be Antsbu, a DNT cabin. It's just a kilometer down the valley here. And then I'm gonna continue down that beautiful valley with a view of Hurungane Mountains and Pinnacles. And then I'm gonna start climbing again up onto a high plateau that I think has some amazing views really excited for this day because the weather is so nice and i think the views will be stunning up there you have uh, tverodals church uh, one of the most prominent peaks in this area and uh, definitely a goal for summit seekers. You can walk that as a day hike from Suta Seta where I started. Pretty cool summit.
at the beautiful fall colors here. Wow. Here you have Store Skagadalstinden, one of the more famous 
peaks in Hurungane. Also got Mitre Ringtenden with its very peculiar shark fin shape. A lot of other awesome peaks. Look at this waterfall. That's incredible. Here's Alenspur. I'm not gonna go up there. This is incredible. I'm heading towards Nastudal Setar over the bridge. Look at this stunning delta here. It's almost like a miniature Rappadalen. Look at those waterfalls though. That's insane. This has got to be one of the most beautiful valleys I've ever been to. Look at the waterfall with the glacier on top up there. I'm stoked.
It's another glacier that I haven't seen before. I think I'm getting close to the top of this climb. It's evening out. So it's a fun climb with amazing views. What an incredible view. What a spectacular day it's been so far. And it's only 2.30. Almost stepped on this little ptarmigan here. It was basically sitting right on the trail. I think it's trying to hide from me just by, by its colors. You can see the red in its eye. Gonna scare you right then. Look at this glacial runoff. I wouldn't want to drink that. I 
wonder where to cross. Right here. It's a pretty cool stream. of this glacier. What a cold place. I found a great camp overlooking the glacier that I've been following for the whole day over here and also this amazing huge new glacier up here and also just above that uh, lake that's called uh, Leirvatn which means clay lake makes sense because it's colored colored gray by all the clay awesome view from inside my tent here <laughs> <laughs> 